I feel like I'm on that soap opera on TV, but can't remember my exit line, so we'll just be stuck here for eternity. I decide to use that stupid outside-in acting technique, hoping that the action will imbue it with meaning, so I give Patricia a hug. She seems almost startled, and when I try to let go, she keeps holding on to me, so I stop letting go, but then she pulls away. Um, I started smoking interludes in May of 96 in Los Angeles, and I wanted writers to have a place where they could write something and put it right up in front of an audience and get feedback in that process. Um, but, but the nice thing about smoking interludes and writing is that this has become my MFA program because I get to hear other writers read, I get to read their work, um, I get to read my work, and I get to see, like, you know, where is the focus, where are people, like, where is their attention leaving the room, you get to watch the audience when other people read. Um, I feel like it's really like where the living work happens instead of, and MFA programs are obviously great, but there's kind of a rarefied atmosphere there, whereas here it's really in the real world with people buying books. And you can see, like, um, where it's connecting. And it also, I think, made a big difference in me developing my voice as a writer because my early writing was literally to read at Spoken Interludes. So I write very much to um, speak to the reader directly as if I'm literally um, in their apartment or home having a conversation with them, which kind of is really what I want. Well, I say, um, talk to you soon. Yeah, well, we're leaving tomorrow for Vegas, so maybe in the morning, Patricia says. I start to tell her that I have an early call for the TV movie that I booked, but then I don't because I'm not going to initiate the phone call anyway, and I seriously doubt that she will. Though if I did call her, she would act like she was just about to call me. We pick up our bags and walk out the door onto Melrose Avenue, heading our separate ways into the unforgiving afternoon light. Thank you.